Hey guys, do y'all want to come in my clubhouse? You must say the magic words first. Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse head ass. Welcome to my clubhouse. Nah, just fuck with y'all. Hey. Oh, one second, one second. What's Gucci with y'all, man? Um, good afternoon, I guess. It's all y'all out there. I don't know what's up, man. Just get my water bottle real quick. So, today's video, as y'all can see in the title, is a little... I guess it's a little hard to believe the stuff I'm about to say today. I'm only going to say three topics because we only got 18 minutes. So I'm, I'm only going to have enough time to explain at least three topics. Now these three topics is something that's visual. Something that we can see with our bare eyes. So it's just something that I always wanted to talk about. Always wanted to, I guess, school y'all on. But check it out. I didn't even know this spot was here. That's a pretty dope little spot. Oh look, there's a lost dog, guys. If y'all see this lost dog, there's a reward. I might as well show this on camera. Lost dog. Poor buddy. All right, so look. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the chemtrails. Um, let's, I'm gonna spark up real quick. And I guess I'll walk around. Um, camp trails, guys. Nothing to joke about. It's actually something that we should take seriously for the most part. You see, camp trails are in the sky, guys. So let me show y'all what this looks like. So y'all see, we got the regular clouds. And you can see how clouds look regular. You can see how they're big, you know what I'm saying? And they're fluffy. And they go spread out across like that, right? Now, a camp trail will be something like that little piece right there. But it'll be lined up and it spreads out into like a fake cloud. You can see these are real clouds though. Alright, so basically those clouds those clouds are real right it's very rare we see real clouds like I don't know what's going on I don't know why we got real clouds now well I guess it's just cuz like it's been raining lately and um, basically these clouds man if you get to see you get to know the difference between the real cloud and the chemtrail cloud I'm gonna clean the lens off real quick guys I don't know if that's just a little better man I ain't even tripping though. Alright, so basically guys, um where I'm going with this is just like it's not cool to put shit in the clouds because what goes up must come down. Now, clouds are water vapor, you know what I'm saying? Like and that being said, it's like they, they take these scientific facts and they put them as like adjustments. They they take advantage of them. So if a jet's in the sky above 40, below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, the compensation will create what looks like chemtrails. So they say the chemtrails is compensation since the jet is all the way up there 40 degrees below Fahrenheit, okay? Now, this, this is the thing they got us messed up with. I've seen regular uh, climate changes like that. I've seen regular compensation. And it goes away within the hour. Now, the chemtrails, they do not go away, but they spread out. Now, they spread out into fake clouds. Nobody even, like, realizes that until you actually look into the sky. Now, another thing is, jets will not fly back and forth crossing the chemtrails just because they feel like it. It's because they're ordered to. This right here... Is like against the constitutional rights because we are we have a right to vote for something that's getting done in our country 
This is getting done worldwide, chemtrails. Whether y'all see it or not, it is getting done worldwide. So, a lot of y'all, damn, look at this. That's some weird ass shit. I mean, just like, this man eating berries and shit. Alright, so basically, y'all, it, it, if we voted for this, we would say no. We do not want sodium fluoride slash other chemicals coming down to our environment where we breathe. Also, it goes into our plantation. It's just a very bad way. Like, we pollute this earth enough. We don't need human pollution, like, homemade pollution shit. We don't need that. You know what I'm saying, guys? We really need to stand up and just, like, take care of this world. Because I know in the Bible it says, don't care about this world. Don't love this world. Don't love the items on this world as in jury and shit. And I, I gotta admit, I do love it. But I don't love it more than Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I don't love it more than than what I gotta do in life, you know, like, I always know if we all stand together, we can make a change, you know what I'm saying, but if we're, if we're talking as individuals, we're labeled as conspiracy theories, we're labeled as something that's, they're, they're putting labels on us without us labeling ourselves, which is bad, because then stop, people stop listening, because they already labeled me. And I'm not going to label myself because I know that I'm not by myself. I'm with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to expand this and join together because, like you heard, two is better than one. And that's just how we're going to do it, man. Because together, we're strong. But as individuals, we're pretty weak. And I admit that. Now, let's talk about another thing. These chemtrails mess up our water solutions. Our water how do you say it? Our water, um, I forget how to say it, but, um, y'all know what I mean. So, our water supply, there you go. Our water supply. Every single faucet water comes from the same, like in San Antonio, we all have the same water source. We all have the same source from water, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all have the same water company and all that bullshit, right? The thing about that is, we do not know what's coming in and out of that water. Like, all we see is just water, right? All we see is just water. Um, it's like one day I was just looking through the water, right? And I was looking through, like, it was like a I, I put my water always through a filter when I used to drink water. I used to put it in a filter pitcher. Now, I put it in a filter pitcher, and it still kind of looked off. Like, if you look inside the water clear pitcher... You could kind of see like, I don't know how to explain it. Like you can see little white shit, you know what I'm saying? It looks like, like little sperm cells type shit, almost, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's like all in the water. And it's like, like little flakes, like little white flakes, I guess. That's that's the best way to explain it. And I was like, bro, I could, I could boil this water. And then, you know, you, they say if you boil water, you could like kill the germs or something like that. So I tried to, I clean, first I cleaned the pot out really good, right? And I put the water in there, and I boiled this shit for a long time, like, I guess, like, five minutes. It's boiling and shit. Boom, I turn it off, and I see that all that white shit that I saw inside the water, it, it, it stayed into one spot. So this one spot, it was like, it's like a creamy white shit, kind of like, kind of like mayonnaise almost, kind of. But then I poured the water out, and I still saw all the white shit in there. Like, the, the boiling didn't do really nothing but show me what was in the water. So then I took out the water and I saw in the pot it left all this white residue. I'm talking about real white white residue. And I fucking I put my finger around it and I I look at it and it's all white powdery. It's all white powdery and we don't even know what it is. We don't know what the fuck that is at all. I I show my family I'm like what the fuck is this? Look at this look at this white shit. Like they're like we know we know what the fuck y'all mean y'all know and y'all drinking this shit? Nah man this is look. I spent over a hundred dollars on water bottles every month now. I'm not. I refuse to drink tap water because of that. What I've seen now. That was after it was boiled, and it's all like that in in your system. So all that white residue is in your system. Every time you drink that tap water, that's what's happening. Then I looked on YouTube and I saw that they were finding parasites and shit in the tap water that we drink. I know y'all still drink tap water. Don't front me, because I used to too. I ain't gonna lie. I used to make Kool-Aid with tap water. I used to do all that shit. And now I don't do none of that. 
I'm straight drinking filtered water because at, at the end of the day, I think that's another reason why the government wants to pollute our water. It's for the water businesses to be advanced, for the water businesses to be successful, and everybody has to buy filtered water. And, you know, that's just another way to make some bank off the water. Now, I just... I just think it's really sad how we can't stand up together and end this pollution and end this government, you know, catastrophe, all right? But anyway, so another thing is, the third thing that we're gonna talk about today is the Illuminati. Of course, everybody heard about it. Everybody knows about it. So how is it really a secret organization? Now let me tell y'all. Y'all think y'all know about Illuminati, but y'all don't know about the Illuminati because if y'all did, it wouldn't be a secret organization, right? Y'all know what they want us to know. Y'all thinking what they want y'all to think. That's what y'all don't know. That's what y'all don't get is y'all being played on top of y'all being played. So y'all think y'all playing them by knowing information when they put that out there because if they didn't want nobody to know that, trust me, they, they wouldn't have nobody to know that. That's what I'm going with. You got to open up your third eye. And what I mean, what I mean by that is you just got to see better. You got to see more than the average eye. Uh, so basically, let's say, let's say, the, you know, you're hearing about this Mac Miller death shit. You're hearing about this Mac Miller shit. And um, he's talking about, they're talking about that he committed suicide for a sacrifice. Now, if this was true. We would know 100% facts, right? We would know 100% facts, but honestly, we don't know it's true. And that's where it's kind of tricky. And guess whose names gets brought up? The Illuminati. All this shit, you know what I'm saying? Satanic symbolism, all that bullshit. Damn, the sun just came up. I'm over here wearing a sweater. It was pretty chilly in the morning. But anyway, um. so yeah, basically, all I'm coming at is... They're, they're, they know what we're doing. They know exactly what we're doing, guys. Illuminati, if y'all want to look it up, y'all can look it up. But it's only what they want us to see. You're not going to find nothing more than what everybody already knows, you know? That's what they don't want us to know is that we're getting played on top of a plate. Oh, shit. We getting played on top of a plate. Like, we thinking we know and we're playing them. But in reality, we don't know as much as... They don't want us to know like we are stuck in a in a place where we have to go figure out things ourselves and when, by the time we do that it's already too late it's either we're dead commit suicide something happens and and the cia or fbi or even you know mexican mafia and stuff like that if you know too much information they got to take you out because you're a liability so therefore if I do spread out some information and I let everybody know, I could be a liability. Now, like I said, the government wants you to know what you want to know. But what if someone find out finds out everything? Like, what if someone finds out the secret, the secret information? What if someone has the facts to show? Then they're done. And you're done too. Whoever's showing that, you cannot show your face. You're probably, it's done for you. Trust me. And I don't know, like, it's so... So crazy, man, because there's a lot to talk about, especially like with the presidencies and how they worship the big owl, the giant owl, and all that bullshit. Um, that's another story, guys. We'll get on that in the next. Um, I'm finna go back to my whip because everybody keeps looking at me weird and shit. Alright, we still recording. So look, man, look. I just I, I just think that y'all should know about the chemtrails. Y'all look them up. Y'all look in the sky and y'all see if y'all can see some chemtrails. And it's it's something we got to do about this. Like, I love our military. I love our Air Force. And I, I respect them for serving our country and stuff like that. But at the same time, y'all know what y'all doing. The people who are putting the chemtrails in the sky, y'all really know what y'all doing. Like, y'all can't just be dumb about it. I know y'all know what y'all doing. And that fact... That, that fact right there just scares me because it's just sad that you you got kids probably and, and your kids got to live with this because, you know, people don't see it as a bad thing right now, 
but people didn't see smoking cigarettes as a bad thing until people started getting cancer from it, until people started getting heart diseases from it. Now, same thing with this chemtrail shit, it's new. We don't know the side effects yet, we don't. Just like with the jewel, just like with the vapes, it's not, we don't have the advanced time to tell what diseases it could cause in the future. Therefore, we say it doesn't cause nothing yet because we don't know anything yet. But yet yeah, is a big key word, so that just falls a big place in our society today, as as in with the cars and stuff like that. You know, back then when they made the car, we didn't need driver's license. You know what I'm saying? We didn't need none of that. Back then, beer was for 18 and up. Now it's 21 and up, and that's just from the consequences that they've seen throughout the younger people throughout the community. Oh shit, not my torch. <laughs> but that's just the shit you gotta think about, like. Today we're living in a world where technology is ruling. Where my phone could be recording me right now and the government could be listening to this vi video right now and I wouldn't even know. There could be cameras in your own house and you couldn't even know. That's how bad we're, that's what kind of world we're living in today. Is a world that we will not understand until we open our eyes. And a lot of people would not open their eyes. A lot of people, they just don't believe in they just, they can't believe it. It's like, say you saw an alien. Your mind's telling you that's not real. And your mind won't expand to that point where you know it's real. But guess what, like I've seen shit in the sky. I've seen, y'all think I'm playing, I've seen two, like it would look like a star. Like the Star of David, you know how they were following that big star? Well one time I was with friends. I was with homie Caesar, homie, homie Victoria, Nano, me and I think it was another person and we were all looking in the sky that day and we saw a fucking star and it just fucking moved out of nowhere like at the speed of light type shit almost at the speed of light like it was fast as fuck I never seen anything move that fast especially a, a sitting star like I seen a shooting star but not a sitting star anyway so I know that was weird and I seen it again that's when I completely believed in outer space outer life everything because once you see something like that, there's no going back. And your mind's telling you, bro, just don't worry about it. And my mind did tell me that for a couple years. Until I realized all this information that's coming out. There was a newscast information saying that UFOs are real. And they showed a fucking UFO <laughs> through an airplane flight. This got millions of views. This went viral. It was on every... It was trending, you know what I'm saying? This was one of the trending um, topics. The aliens are real, but we don't know what they are and we don't know what they're planning to do and that's why we feel defenseless, but deep down they know exactly what the fuck's going on. They just don't want to tell us that far yet. Just like they didn't want to tell us that they're real, but now they're saying they're real. Isn't it like funny? Next thing you know, shit, Donald Trump's going to be president in 2020. Um, it's sad to say, but that's what the predicts, prediction is and that's probably what it is going to be. You see, we are living among the Antichrist already. Now, it's just time, it's just a matter of time before it all takes place into the prophecy type shit, you know? It's just a matter of time before this earth is nothing. Like, y'all ever thought about dying? Like, imagine you die right 